Ah. Hello? What the fuck do you want? Yeah. Okay. Welcome to the morning after. I'm your glamorous drag queen host, Erica Hatch. And I'm Saul. On today's show, nudes, is sharing your body really that harmful? We have on-site interviews coming your way with Creva Mooney. And a fantastic exclusive interview with, with a student who went to the exhibition of famous film director Stanley Kubrick. Truly, one of the greats. Our field reporter, Vinnie Kiss, is here to talk about Stanley Kubrick. The first role of VT. Yeah. <laughs> Dave, do you mind if I ask you a personal question? No, not at all. Stanley Kubrick, one of the greatest directors of all time and most fascinating artistic voices in all of cinema. His body of work includes 2001 A Space Odyssey, A Clockwork Orange and The Shining. He is also an Oscar winner, taking home the award in 1969 for his visual effects work on 2001, a film which is considered by many to be one of the greatest films of all time and the most groundbreaking of the science fiction genre. His films haven't been without controversy, however, with 1971's A Clockwork Orange being withdrawn from circulation in Britain two years after its release and was not made available until 1999 and reports that he mistreated actress Shelley Duvall on the set of 1980's The Shining so that he could get a better performance out of her. Kubrick died on the 7th of March 1999, leaving behind a legacy that remains unrivaled by the other directors today. The Shining is known as one of the first films to make use of the revolutionary Steadicam, which would become a staple of filmmaking in the years to come. The camera's inventor, Garrett Brown, was heavily involved with the production of The Shining, where he described his excitement at first being seen set as offering further possibilities for the Steadicam. 2001 A Space Odyssey is notable for making a significant use of match cuts, which refers to when two shots are cut together that are connected by an action or subject matter with two 2001 using it to connect a bone that has been thrown in the air. I 100% recommend this exhibition. It provides a brilliant insight into one of history's greatest films. Uh, thank you for joining us today, Vinny. You were a fan of Stanley Kubrick before you uh, went to this Yeah, exhibition. I was, yeah. I'd only seen one of his films, but right. um, you know, that took a big effect on me. Mm. Just like, you know, it was it was something different that I've never seen before, definitely. Yeah, and going to this exhibition, did mm. you learn anything? What was the most interesting thing you learned? The most interesting thing I learned was uh, his editing table, okay. um, because he had a lot of um, interesting things, just from the way that he had to stitch the film together. Right. It was so, um, I don't know, it's just incredible to see how difficult it was at that time. Because yeah. you know, nowadays it's just so simple, you just do it on a composited software, put two clips together, and then, you know, if you make a simple mistake, you can just get rid of that. With this time, you know, in his time, if you made one mistake, you, you know, you couldn't go back, you couldn't erase that issue. Right, and speaking about nowadays um, mm. film, comparing the two, old and new, do you think that a lack of creativity is in the film no, industry? No, definitely not. Um, I just think it's harder to find it because literally anyone, if they really want to, can make a film now. We've all got Do a you think audiences it. today can still appreciate the artistic merit that's found in a lot of um, people? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I suppose not as much as That's all for today. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Um, now, we are going for our advert, and we will see you in a minute. Have you recently had unprotected sex? It's not the end of the world. Come in for a free confidential checkup at your local clinic. Shh, no one has to know. Free condoms are provided for those under 18. Don't be silly, wrap your willy. Welcome back to the show. Taking pictures of your naked body. What do you think about nudes? We have Quiva here in the studio to talk to us, but First, let's roll the VT. So 
So, Quiva, how are you today? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. And Vinny? I'm good, yeah. I'm good, thanks. That's good. So, uh, we watched the VT and we really love to know what are your personal opinions on news? Vinny? I mean, Vinny, you're against it as well. Yeah, I think they're disgusting. Way. Why is that? I just think they're an absolute yeah. joke. Right. Um, right. Yeah. And Quiva? Um, I think they should be accepted. Okay, so we had two polarising views. Mm. Well, during the VT, did you find anything weird? Did anyone say anything peculiar? Um, so it certainly like opened me up to like the fact that a lot, a lot of people do agree with them a lot more than I thought. Right. But um, yeah, I'd say there was a lot more of that lied saying they didn't agree with them when they probably did, and they were just messing about with their friends. So. Right. <laughs> And in a digital age, Vinny, what do you think the implications are of sending? Uh, you can share it to people who you don't perhaps want to see it. I think that's a risk. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's right. yeah. easier think, than ever. I think it can cause a lot of cyberbullying, but then it does bring a lot of body positivity to a lot of people as well, like helping them love their bodies. Right. And being in such a modern age, why has there been such a stigma and taboo against nudes? I think it's because it's such a private thing and it can easily become public. And like that's where the barrier is crossed with it, when like your privacy is invaded. Right. Especially when you see 13-year-olds sending nudes as well. Yeah, a bit too much, yeah. bit too much. But it happens. Right. Yeah. Have you ever sent nudes personally, any of you? No. No? Are we telling porkies now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, yeah. So, yeah, you enjoyed making the video? Yeah. Did you enjoy good. watching the video? Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. great. It's too much time. Do you feel like you've been informed? Do, do you like me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Great. I'm glad. Uh, thank thank, thank you. you so much for coming today. What a show it's been. Thank you so much to all of our. And of so, what <laughs> else did you think of the video? Um, it's just. A lot of teachers got involved in it as well, which was yeah, quite was fun. They were quite open as well, which I didn't expect. But I think most people were open about um, it yeah. nowadays, yeah. yeah. Especially they, in the interview. They seemed quite open to telling the camera, but when when asked, like, before the camera was on, they were all shy, but I feel like a lot of them were acting up as well. Because yeah. so, yeah. they don't want to tell the truth. Yeah. Mm. Right, well, thank you for coming today, thank both you. of you. What a show it's been. Thank you so much to all of our guests and, of course, our viewers. Join us next time where we'll be discussing the current James Charles gossip with our reporter, Jake Ashwell. You've been watching The Morning After. And from all of us here, goodbye. First, okay. Roll the VT.